All right, Dias, can you hear us? Yes. All right, we will start with Sean Coleman. Dias, how are you doing today? Good, how are you? Doing well, thank you for asking. Um, so just um, uh, over the past uh, few weeks, um, got back to you know leading the bench role. Um, the production is certainly there. The shot, it looks like you're continuing to get good looks. It's just from distance right now. Still the consistency of it falling. What are your thoughts as far as the progression of your shot over the past few weeks? And uh, my guess is hoping to end the first half strong with some of those shots from distance falling. Yeah, just got to keep shooting, uh, shooting with confidence. Um, try not to overthink it. Uh, but I uh, just feel like I've been wanting to to make shots uh wanting to um you know see see shots go through the through the hoop um especially from from um behind the arc um and they they just aren't aren't there but just got to not not press too much and just continue to to trust in it trust in the work that I've been putting in um and continue to shoot my shots with confidence um and and I know you know I'll start shooting it you know better here and like you said trying to finish out the the break on a on a high note um so yeah just got to st stick with it Sharon Brown. Hi, Tyus. How you doing? Good. How are you? Um, how good was it for you guys to have extra days off and get practice in? Um, I think it was really beneficial for us. Um, you know, with the with how the schedule's been, we haven't, um, you know, had a a true practice day uh, in a while, um, and it's been, you know, a lot of, you know, just games, um, a lot of film work and and film prep, but to be able to get back, you know, on the court, the practice court um, and kind of reset. Uh, I think it was really beneficial for us. Um, and we'll try to try to hit the ground running tonight. Um, so I think it, it was big for us just because it ha we haven't been allowed to um, get in a true practice uh, in, in a while. So it'll be good for us. Evan Barnes. Ty, it's kind of on that note with the second half, um, schedule out and you guys are not going to have, you know, two day, you know, consecutive off days. How has the first half kind of prepared you maybe for kind of how to prepare and what to expect and how to adjust for an even tougher compressed schedule in the second half, you think? Um, yeah, I think, I mean, we didn't have a, a whole lot of, you know, consecutive off days in the first half of the season. So it's, it's a lot of the same, even though we had a couple uh, mixed in, uh, you know, we had a, a good amount of stretches where it was we're playing every other if not back to back so um, it's a lot of the same um, the second half we just got to be you know ready prepare for the grind and um, use the the all-star break to um, you know get our get our rest regroup uh, mentally um, and be ready to, to to hit the ground running um, in the second half of the season because it is a grind but at the same time um, that's what you know all the teams are, are faced with that same grind um, you know, tight window, trying to fit in a bunch of games. So, um, you know, no one's going to make excuses for us. All right, that's all the questions we have. Thank you, Tyus. Thank you, guys. Have a good one. Thanks, everybody.